Hôm nay buổi mấy rồi các bạn? Hôm nay buổi mấy? Buổi 3 hay buổi 4 em? Hôm nay buổi học số mấy mấy bạn? Ồ. Hello? Buổi, buổi 4 hả? Hay buổi 3 em? You're in the best place. Cô Đức hỏi hôm nay buổi số 4 cô Đức. Cô Đức hỏi buổi 4 hả? Rồi rồi cô cảm ơn nha. Dạ dạ. Okay, hello everybody. How are we today? Very well. I'm good. good. That's good to hear. So uh, today's lesson, we're going to be doing uh, revision on our first three lessons, and we're going to be checking uh, all of our homework. So make sure that you've got uh, all of your uh, all of your homework with you and you're going to get a chance to ask lots of questions and we're going to cover everything and make sure that we understand it and we're ready to move on to the next uh, group of lessons. So I'll give you guys a minute just to make sure you've got your homework tasks with you and then we'll start with revision there. Okay, so I'm just going to call on you uh, one at a time now, and I'm going to get you to uh, read out your topic that you chose. I want you to read your motion, and then I want you to uh, explain to the class the arguments that you have come up with for your chosen topic. So I'm going to start with, I'll pick John to start today. Are you ready to deliver your homework? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I think you have turned off your mic, your microphone. No, my, according to my Zoom, my microphone is on. Has that fixed it? Yes. Ah, I think terrific. That's it might have just been a problem with my headphones. They have the microphones built in. I'll uh, have a look at that and hopefully I can get that fixed. So um, are you ready to deliver your homework, John? Yes. 
Terrific. So can you please start by reading your topic to the class? What topic did you choose for debate? I choose, should children go to school on their own? Terrific. So if that is your topic, what would your motion statement be? I believe that children should go to school on their own because they can be more. Uh, so, so just the motion. So, just the motion statement. So, you said that correctly, uh, which is uh, this house believes that children should be able to go to school on their own. So that was good. Now, can I hear your? Uh, your arguments for the proposition, please. What are the four? Or what are the three arguments for the proposition that you created? I have five, not three. The first three are as they are. Ah, well then, <laughs> let's hear. Let, uh, so then, pick any three of the arguments you've created. I just need to hear three. Okay. So you can go by yourself without annoying your parents because no parent want to annoy be annoyed in the morning. You <laughs> and you well, can be more positive in time. So that so that was your first one is um, you don't want to annoy your parents in the morning so you can get off to school by yourself. Very good. What was your second argument? Um, this, my second argument is. You can run, you can walk, you can go, you can go to school by cycling. And that three is for exercising and exercising keeps you fit and healthy. Very good. And one more uh, argument for the proposition, please, John. And you can be more positive in time. So you think you can get there quicker without your parents slowing down. They have to go to many places. Very good. And so very good, John, that's good work. Can I get your three arguments for the opposition now, please? Okay. Um, three again? Yeah, just pick any three. You can be kidnapped or pickpocket. That is certainly uh, a bad thing about walking to school by yourself. What's another argument that you had? Um, you shouldn't go go in there a traffic like the school is on the other side of the road and you're on the opposite side of the road and you want to cross the street. But in the morning, the parents go to to the work. So if that's well, maybe traffic and if you want to go carefully, maybe an accident can happen. Very good. Road safety is an issue for children getting to school. And one more uh, opposition argument, please, John. And uh, it will be very tired if your house is far from the school. Long travel can make you tired in the mornings. And you John, won't have energy for PE. That's right. John, those were some terrific arguments. Well done. That's some good homework Thank you've you. done. You're welcome. Okay, so next up, I shall ask Little Mooncake. <laughs> Stella. Yeah? Can I hear your topic for debate that you chose for homework, please? Uh saying that uh, my motion for DBA debate is, did money bring back happiness? Very good. Does money bring happiness? So if that is your topic, what would your motion statement be for that topic? I want to show being a rich person had its own good and bad benefits. Okay. So... With your motion statement, I, I understand the point of view that you're putting across, but just um, I want you to try to reword that, uh, not right now, 
but just practice writing it down. You want to start your motion statements by saying, this house believes, and then you would state your motion statement. So for example, this house believes that uh, money does lead to happiness. But I, I understood your motion, so well done. Can you please give me your uh, pick three arguments for the proposition side of the debate? Uh, uh, we need it to buy important things like food and clothes or something like that. Very good. We need money to buy the important things. What's another argument, please? We need it like to have a relaxing time in some of the casual or auto holidays. Money helps us to buy nice holidays and vacations. Fantastic. And what's another argument for proposition, please? It is like um, to share with homeless people who are in need. If you have more money, you can afford to give to charity. Wonderful argument. Thank you very much, Stella. Can I have your arguments for the opposition now, please? One, some people waste too much money on clothes and fashion. That's right. Some people can waste money and be greedy. Can I have your second opposition argument, please? They buy too much things they don't need that much. That's right. They can also waste money on other things too. And one more opposition argument, please. They can be greedy and hurt the people who is poor, the feelings of them. That's right. Sometimes you can make people feel bad if you rub your money in their face sometimes. Stella, that's some fantastic homework. Good job. Okay, next up, Andrew, are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, can we start with your topic, please? Okay, so my topic is, should we make space travel cheaper, easier, and more command? Very good. So what would your motion statement for that debate be? My motion is, this house believes that we should make space travels easier, cheaper, and more command. Terrific. Can I hear your three arguments for the proposition, please? Okay, so the first argument is we can explore outer space and learn more about it. So we can learn about asteroids or anything and may solve some mysterious question that we ask today about space. Fantastic, your second argument, please. My second is, will, we will find other planets that support lives and colonize them. <clears throat> and maybe if there's something happening to Earth, like the Earth explode or something kind of like uh, a virus that attack to our Earth, and then we can go to that planet and we can survive and our <clears throat> and human beings will not be extinct. Very good. And one more proposition argument, please, Andrew. We can invent more inventions, like we can protect ourselves from asteroids, such as making new space probe that can announce that if an asteroid is coming, or we can create a spaceship that can travel very, very fast, more than the speed of the light. Very good. And now can we get your arguments for the opposition, please? Okay. 
first argument is we can be sick or die if we travel in space too long, or we could plan on land on a planet and <clears throat> that doesn't have enough enough oxygen and we may die and sometimes travel too much there can decrease your muscle and you don't have enough food or water to survive very good and your next argument please next is it costs too much for humans to go to space uh, well, according to NASA, $3 million need for a person to go to the moon. That is a lot, and we can't afford that if we just keep travel to space and then we'll run out of money for anything else. Very good. And your last argument for the opposition, please, Andrew. Okay, so it can be building spacecraft is a challenge because some people don't know if they are good or bad and what's wrong to it. Or maybe they can explode on the way to space and it can be really dangerous to the astronauts and their travel to space. Very good. Andrew, that was some great homework. Well done. Okay, next up, let's have Luna, please. Luna, Luna Black. <laughs> Hello, are you ready to present your homework? Yeah. Terrific. Can I please start with your topic sentence? Well, I think my topic sentence was, uh, we are sh uh, should uh, uh, ban the fossil fuel, but I, I made a mistake on the proposition, though I admit, and it was having the proposition to be about burning fossil fuel. <laughs> oh, well. So uh, I'll still check uh, what you have. So I'll, I'll still check the homework that you've done, and then I'm going to give everyone feedback at the end. So your topic is, should we ban fossil fuels? So if that is your topic, what would your motion be? Yeah. My motion would be, we should ban a fossil fuel. So how do we start a motion statement? The answer's in the chats there. This house believes that, that we should ban the fossil fuels. Should be banned. Very good. So if your motion is that this house believes that we should ban fossil fuels, uh, let's hear three arguments in favour of banning fossil fuels, please. They'll be your proposition arguments. Okay, so I recalled that the burning fossil fuel emits carbon dioxide, which is a major greenhouse gas. This is leading to the rising sea level. This is causing the global warming. And perhaps, just maybe, it is the reason why the need to know is happening this year. Very good. Can I have your second argument for the proposition, please? Sure. Well, when we exhausted 
are the sources of fog and Sophia. Uh-oh, there won't be any more. That's right. And that could have some very bad effects on our world and the environment because we'll need to find a new replacement for fossil fuels. Very good. And can I have your yeah. last proposition argument, please? The third proposition for me is we are sometimes they use the pipes or boats. And if those start to roll, uh, and uh, if it those leaks, then it will also uh, cause harm in the environment. Birds can't fly. They can't swim easily. Very the good. It can cause damage. Sorry, Luna, I cut you off. Fin finish what you were saying, please. Well, the environment would be uh, polluted because of the, the gas leaks and, and uh, the, uh, the oil leaks. Very good. After now, that, if you're a bird and then you said that when you saw yourself covered in oil and you couldn't fly. That would not be very good at all. Well done with those arguments. Could you please give me your three arguments in opposition now? Well, that's a review of a dog is running out. It is a fast found in abundance. Like, for example, if you find in the one site, there would be tons and tons of fossil fuel. So perhaps not worry about it. This soon is not that good of an idea. The second is well, it cannot be easily carried. Buried in the uh, uh, pipes uh, for gas uh, uh, and the oil. The, the third uh, one is the, the, that uh, fossil fuel is the cost of it, the shit, meaning uh, that uh, it uh, is cheap. And, uh, well, very uh, good. Uh, 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 alternate energy sources aren't uh, uh, that uh, cheap and uh, not that efficient. Very good, Lona. That was some good work you did. That was some good arguments. Thank you. And next up, I'm going to ask George. George, it's George. Going to ask George to present his arguments, please. So, uh, first of all, okay. so first of all, can I have your topic of debate? I don't know what it's been. So, what, uh, which which topic did you pick to debate about for the homework? What did you choose to debate about? Playing video games. So playing video games was your topic. And so what was the question? Is our video games good for children or? Should playing video games be considered a sport? Which 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 debate topic did you pick? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you talked about. 
I'll talk about it with you a bit later then. Okay. So. Next up. Thank you, George. So next up, I'll ask Rio Hainan. Yes. Sorry, I'm just typing a quick message here. Okay, Rio, could you please give me your topic? that you chose. Yeah. Um, so uh, um, in, wait, in Tuesday, I go to the beach. So I don't, I don't know what topic I'm choosing. No worries. I'll go back over our Zalo group and have a look for your guys' homework then. Um, Amy. Yes. Are you ready to present your homework? Yes. Terrific. What was your debate topic, please? I just pinched. My topic is, are animals that are kept in zoos better off than wild animals? Very good. So what would your motion statement be? Can, uh, can you repeat, please? Yeah, so what would your motion statement be? I don't know this. Is so, that, okay. can I use this motion for debate? Yeah, yeah. so um, are you, uh, so are you arguing that animals in zoos are better off or that they are not better off? Mm, I think both. Okay, so um, I'll, so I'll pick one, I'll just pick one for you and then you create the motion statement. So remember that the beginning of the motion statement is in the chat box, how you start a motion. So if you are arguing that animals in the zoo are better off than wild animals, how would you make your motion statement? Mm. Please. Have a look at... Yep. But I don't know what is um, motion statement. So uh, check in the chat box. Um, I've got the, uh, I wrote the answer in the chat box. I heard it because I listened very hard. No, a bit further up. Okay. <laughs> This has beliefs. Very good. So that's how you start your motion. And if you are arguing that animals in zoos are better off than wild animals, how would you make your motion statement? This it, house believes it, that. My, my house, my house believes it. I want to share my opinion, advantages and dis disadvantages of keeping animals in zoos. Okay, so just before we move on to your argument, so your motion statement would be, so your motion statement would be, this house believes that animals in zoos are better off than wild animals. Yes. Okay, good. So now can I hear your arguments? Uh, so your advantage arguments, please. Proposition arguments. 
First, animals that are kept in zoos don't need to find food. Um, they are all fed by zookeepers with their suitable foods, and if animals have health problems, they are taken care by vet too. Very good. Second one, everyone will go to the zoos to see animals. They will understand and love animals more, and therefore people are aware to protecting animals. And the last one is, some species like rhino or tiger are disappear in the wild, but you can still find them in the zoo. They are protected in the good zoos. Very good. Now, can I hear your opposition arguments, please? Okay. One, in some bad zoos, animals are abandoned and not to be fed when they are sick. Two, many visitors throw things to animals in the zoo. Animals that are kept in zoos, in cages and bars, so it makes animals stressed. Aquatic animals don't have enough space and water to live in, and that is an example. Number three is wild animals are not domesticated. If you move some African wild animals like giraffes, lion, cheetah to Vietnam, they are difficult to adapt with Vietnam climate. So it will change their habitats and it will seriously help affect animals' health. They probably get sick or die. Wow. That was incredible, Amy. That was absolutely brilliant. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Well done. Okay, uh, next up, I'll ask Kevin. Yeah. Are you ready to present your homework? Yeah, I'm ready. Terrific. So, so what was your topic? Uh, my topic is, are children given too much homework? <laughs> okay, good topic. So what would your motion statement be? Uh, this house believes that uh, children are given too much homework. I thought that would be your stance. Well done, good motion. Can I please hear your arguments for proposition? Okay. First of all, homework makes parents involved with uh, children learning. So if uh, children have a bad learning, uh, parents can uh, know that and they can help their children. Moving to my second point, homework develops important study skills. Uh, if children don't know some important study skills, skills, homework can help them to study more and their skills will increase. Last but not least, teacher can keep track of progress when they let their children do some homework. If teacher, if teachers, uh, if uh, if teachers uh, give students homeworks, and some students uh, have not, if uh, if teacher give uh, students uh, have if teacher give student no homework, uh. They will like when they went home, they will like be, they would play all day. So their progress can be bad. So uh, even the teacher can even be kicked out of the school. So if uh, the teacher uh, gives students homework, uh, stu they can keep track 
of the, the student and other teachers can talk to their parents and the parents will help the students study. Very good. Now, can I get your uh, opposition arguments, please? So the first one, homework restricts students' freedom. Everyone have their freedom, right? So why did they, we are students. So we are just um, many students, uh, like child, uh, we are just children. So we need to play. Why, why, you would, why should we do homework all day? Very good. Number two. Well, number two, uh, homework makes students have no time for exercise. Exercise is very important for you. So if you do much homework, it will damage your eyes and you, you have no time for uh, exercise and you will be very unhealthy. And number three, please. The last one, most homework makes bad habits. Yeah, if children do homework like every day a week, they, they, then they will be like very angry and all day when they wake up, they, they know that today I have to do homework and they'll be very angry all the week, all the year because they all day they have to do homework. So they'll like, Every day when their parents uh, said they do their homework, they will like be like, no, I just want to play. And then their parents will say, you have to do homework. And then they just like, they are, they are deaf and they just play. Very good. Now, so you presented six very good arguments, but Based on your motion, you actually presented your proposition arguments as your opposition arguments and your opposition arguments as your proposition. So you got the you got them flipped around the other way because your motion was that students do have too much homework. So if that is your motion, that means the proposition arguments need to support that motion and say that, yes, students do get too much homework. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. Good. But other than that, six very well-formed arguments. Good job, Kevin. Next up, uh, Katie, please. Yes. Hello, are you ready to present your homework? Um, not yet. <laughs> okay, then I'll move on to Tom. Yes, teacher. Hello, Tom, are you ready to present your homework? Uh, obviously, my 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 ideas are on the like on my uh, my iPad. Ah, are you able to read them off your iPad? So just wait me a sec. Okay. Okay. Uh, my motion for debate is should first we off, ban sorry, first off, which topic have you chosen? The topic is should we ban the use of fossil fuels? Okay. And now what is your motion? Uh, my motion is to show that banned using fossil fuels has good and bad benefits. 
So, uh, so to make this debate work, or so to, yes, to to make this debate work, your motion needs to let everybody know what side the proposition is on. So, let uh, so are your proposition arguments? Are they arguing to ban fossil fuels or keep fossil fuels? In my proposition's argument is uh, should ban fossil fuels. Okay, so your motion would then have to reflect that. So your motion would be something along the lines of this house believes that. This house believes that. Fossil fuels should be banned. Fossil fuels should be banned okay so now i have so now i know your motion i will understand what the proposition is arguing for does that make sense yes very good so can i hear your proposition arguments please tom in my propositions arguments the first one is burning fossil fuels create carbon dioxide, a kind of gas that we breathe out and it makes global warming. Another word of climate change. Very good. Your next proposition, please. Sometimes fossil fuels can make natural disasters like acid rain, forest fires, landslide, etc. Very good. And your third proposition argument, please, Tom. If something badly happens when the miners are looking for the oils, if something bad happens like an explode fire, it can be very dangerous and deadly. Very good. Now, can I hear your opposition arguments, please? My opposition's arguments I have three answers. The first one is people can use fossil fuels to make electricity, hot water, gas for vehicles, and etc. Very good. The second is the miners can get a lot of money by selling fossil fuels. Terrific. And one more, please. First one is mostly all the miners said that it's good that fossil fuels should be banned. The reason some people think the reason they said that is because is because when they are looking for fossil fuels, if they were lucky, they can dug up gold or even diamonds. Ah, so the potential to find other treasures underneath the earth as well. That's a very interesting argument, Tom. Well done. Okay, so um, thank you very much to thank you very much to everybody that uh, delivered their homework just now. Those were some very very good arguments. Uh, my two notes that I have, actually really it's just one, one note that I have and it's more, it's more like something that we're going to be doing in the future. So we haven't covered it yet. So don't take it as a criticism because I haven't actually taught you this yet, but your arguments need to be more, more compact and not so much uh, kind of just talking what you think off the top of your head. Um, but we're, we're going to learn about that later. So for today, everybody did fantastic. Everyone that presented their homework did fantastic today. So well done, guys. Well done. Um, now, I'm just going to check the chat quickly. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so at this point, uh, I'm just going to invite everybody. If you have a question about anything that we've talked about, uh, if you need me to re-explain anything, um, yeah, or you have any questions, just do what Andrew's done and do the raise hand button and I will answer your questions in the order that I get them. So before Andrew shakes himself and blasts off into space, what's your question, Andrew? Okay, and my question is, why is Tom's and <clears throat> Luna's Black's homework is so the same? Um, so I don't know why they chose the same topic. Um, I just gave everybody a list to pick topics from. And I can only guess that they just happened to pick the same topic. Maybe but, uh, in, in Tuesday you asked the class who had an idea about topics. Yeah, and some of them have copied, had uh, copied some of the topic. I don't think they copied each other's answers because while a few arguments were the same, they're just they're just the arguments that everybody would talk about on those topics. Whereas Tom had a couple of different arguments from Luna Black. So there were some differences in there. So that lets me know that they weren't copying. So it's just two people that happened to pick the same topic. So no big deal. That's just a just a coincidence. Yeah. So does anybody you. have you're very welcome. Uh, does anybody have any questions about anything that we've learned so far? Anything you would like me to uh, re-explain? So if I don't get any questions, I'm going to start giving you guys questions and I'm just going to ask you about the stuff we've learned to check that you that you know it. So Katie, what is your question? Um, my question is, why do you why do you think of the topic online learning and in-person learning? What do I think about it? Um, yes. Well, I would actually, I, I would actually be on the proposition side. So if the topic is online learning versus in-person learning, I would actually say my motion would be this house believes that online learning is just as good as in-person learning. So uh, I Thank think you. they both. You're welcome, because I think they both have benefits, uh, although in certain situations, I think in-person learning is better because I used to be a, a dance teacher. So it was easier for me to teach somebody to dance in person. Uh, however, online learning has given me this wonderful opportunity to be able to teach all of you about debate. So. I think they're both very good. Does anybody else have a question? Anything that they would like me to re-explain? I used to, yeah. I was a I was a full-time ballroom dancing teacher before I uh, before I moved back to Melbourne. Can you dance for us? <laughs> I'm going to say no because your parents are teaching me, uh, uh, your parents are asking me to teach you to debate, not to dance. However, I do run a free online dance class on Sunday mornings. Uh, I believe it's 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Vietnam time on Sunday mornings. Uh, I have a, a, a Zoom group that I teach dancing on. So if you want to come along and learn that, absolutely, please do. I still sleep in that time, but I will, work, I will wake up as soon as I can. 
<laughs> I was going to say, it is Sunday, so you should have a bit of a sleep in on Sundays, I think. I think everyone's entitled to a Sunday sleep in. Do you have a question, Amy? Accept uh, dancing and English teacher. What do you do more? <laughs> so... At the moment, I teach a lot more English and debate. Okay. Um, I only teach dancing on Sunday mornings for one hour now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, guys, let's try and keep these questions about, about debating. So um, if you understand if you understand everything that we've talked about uh, and you don't need me to explain anything, uh, just put your raise your hand icon like this if you understand everything. And I'm just going to go through everybody and ask you questions about it. Okay. So first up, I'm going to ask a few of you about some of the vocabulary. <laughs> I say vocabulary and everybody puts their hands down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. We don't like vocabulary. <laughs> I know it's not fun, but if you do learn the words now and you understand what they mean, sorry, I'm just going to take a minute. Oh, honestly, I enjoy teaching you kids so much. Like, thank you very much for coming to learn from me. I enjoy this a lot. So, so um, the reason it's important to learn your vocabulary is because in later lessons, when we start learning how to properly uh, create our arguments, how to research, how to do all of these, yeah, uh, how to do all of these things with debating, I'm going to be using this vocabulary a lot more. So if you learn it now, and understand it now while we're talking about it, I'll just be able to say those words in class and you'll know what I'm talking about. Whereas if you're not sure of some of them, uh, when I say them in class, uh, you might get a bit confused if you don't know the words. Is Katie Hoogry? Okay, so. <laughs> I'm just going to pick a few of these uh, vocabulary words and I'm just going to pick people at random and then I'm going to move on, ask about certain things that we've covered. So let's start with John. Uh, yes. <laughs> Can you please tell me what proposition means? Um. The proposition means a, a debate team that agree with the motion. Very well done. Thank you, John. Okay, next up, can I get little mooncake? Can you please tell me what interlocutor means interlocutor is a person who moderates the debate and ensures a fair and respectful decision is made very good so the interlocutor is like the policeman of the debate they make sure all the rules are followed well done thank you stella um Andrew, you're up next. Yeah. Can you please tell me what 
matter is. Okay, so matter is <clears throat> matter is um. Let me think about it. By the so, way, guys, if it helps, you are, is, you are allowed uh, to use your handouts. Content or substance of the argument presented in a debate. Is it right? Very, very good. So um, this class is not, so sorry, I'll say this class is open book. So you are allowed to use those handouts that I've sent you in the Zalo groups. So if you're not sure of something, please read along in those handouts. Uh, next up, Luna Black. Luna. Luna. <laughs> Can you please tell me what debate means? Debate is like a control to argument and there are judges and interlocutors to make sure that it's a fair and the judge, judges will decide who will win according Very good. to the more person side. Very good, Luna. Very good. Okay, George. Let's come back to George. Hello. 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 Are you able to tell me, and you are allowed to read the handouts if you've got them handy, can you please tell me what opposition means? Give me, give me a minute. <laughs> He's going to get his hand out. I think so. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yes, George, please tell me what opposition means. Um... um I don't understand what we're talking about. Do you have the handouts? Do you have the sheets of paper that I sent everybody? What do you mean? Pardon? All right, uh, I'll ask somebody else. Um, let's move on. Rio. Yes. Uh, are you able to tell me what opposition means, please? Opposition. So opposition means the team or individual who oppose the motion and present agreements against it. Very good. Now, just quickly, uh, that one word is individual. But other than that, well done. Uh, next up, Amy, please. Yes. Uh, can you please tell me what theme means? The theme is the, the motion of a debate and it's like um, equal. 
Say that again. Sorry, Amy. It's the motion and it's equal to the, the, the motion and the theme is equal like the motion. It's the topic. Very good. The theme is the central topic or the subject of the debate. Very good job, Amy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. So next up, Kevin, please. Okay. Oh, there you are. I was I was looking for your square on this. I was looking for your square on the screen. I couldn't see it. Can you please tell me what manner means? Manner. Yes, manner. Uh, 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 I cannot remember. Do you have your hand out close by? You're allowed to use it. Uh, no. Okay. George, you and Katie can be hoogry for another minute or two. We're about to finish. So manner is the style or the delivery of the arguments in a debate. So that is your tone of voice, your facial expressions, and your body language. So it's whether you're talking happy or you're talking really sad, or are you sitting upright, or are you slumped over in your chair, or are you happy and smiling, or are you looking really sad so that is your manner okay miss katie miss hoogry hoogry katie yes <laughs> stop laughing john um can you please tell me what team line is I don't know. Do you have your handouts close by? No. Okay, no worries. So team line is the main argument or the position taken by a debating team. So the team line is the general argument that is made by a debating team. Okay, thank you, Katie. And last but not least, Tom, last definition. Yes. Can you please tell me what method means? I don't know. What is method? Do you have your, your handouts nearby? No. Okay. So method is the strategy or the approach used to present arguments in a debate. So the method is basically the order that you present your arguments in. It can also be which team member makes which arguments. Okay, so we did fantastic today, guys. Um, are we sure there's no... I'm not actually angry. I just put lots of angry faces on my message so that everyone would know I was being serious, even though I'm laughing and smiling on camera. So we do need to be respectful, guys. Um, Amy actually did some of the be uh, presented some of the best homework in class today. So I've got nothing. I've got nothing bad to say. Amy did fantastic. 
Um, so, oh, <laughs> so in regards to those handouts, make sure that you, what's there being said in the chat? <laughs> So um, make sure that you have a copy of those handouts uh, that we have, that I've given you in class. They're all available in your group chat for this class on the Zalo app. Uh, so get all of those handouts, study them, read them, understand them. Because thank you, Katie. Because, uh, yeah, like I say, as we move forward in this course, uh, that language is not going to be explained so much in future lessons now. I'm just going to use it and expect you to know what it means. So please make sure that you study so you know what it means so that we can uh, get on and learn how to debate really well. So yeah, um, your next lesson, let me just find my lesson plan here. So your next lesson, yes, it's 12.05. So your next lesson, is going to be on the teal paragraph structure, how to write a good teal paragraph. So um, next lesson, we're going to be doing lots of writing. So make sure you bring a pen and a, pa and a piece of paper or a pen and a notepad, and we're going to practice lots of writing. So Thank you for your time, guys. Your homework was fantastic. Those of you that presented it did very, very well. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Yes, Andrew. Bye. Goodbye, Bye, teacher. Bye. See you, teacher. See you Bye, everybody. Thank you for teaching us. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. I, hope you have, uh, I, hope you, I hope you have a great weekend. I hope, Me too. I hope you enjoy yours. Oh, yes. You guys, you guys go off. You don't have to be hoogry anymore. Well, why did Bye, you... everyone. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Why, why did many people uh, <clears throat> make you say, do you have your handouts? And you say it four times. That's a lot. Um, well, I suppose the reason for that is because I gave the students lots of chances to ask me questions if they didn't understand something and nobody asked me any questions. I think you and one other person asked me a question. And yeah. so if no one asks me a question and I give them the chance to, I just have to assume that everybody knows what we're talking about. So. Yeah, when they weren't able to answer the questions that I asked, um, I asked them if they had their handouts to help them. Yeah. And I think I need to go to eat now because I'm hungry too. <laughs> You're hungry. <laughs> Have a nice week. I'll see, you right. see you next week. Enjoy your lunch, Andrew. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Daisy.